you healed me, my wife's heart. He's healed my heart. He's healed my heart to a point where I'm secure in Jesus. I feel, I no longer feel insecure about who I am. I feel totally alive in Christ, ultimately, and I feel warm and safe. Not long after this, both me and Angela got married. We got married at Hebron, and I knew that we had a, a very strong ministry together in the future. I went to Matsy Bible College for a short period of time on missions course in 2008, 2007. And I had these ideas that I would go out on mission to this warm, hot country, you know, these romantic ideas of mission. And I was out praying one day then near the river at Mattersea, a beautiful village, a beautiful Bible college, full of God's presence. And I was walking along thinking I, w I would like to be like this wonderful man of God. I would like to be like him. I would like to be like him. And God clearly spoke to me. He says, I don't want you to be like anybody else. I love you as you are. I didn't want you to suffer the pain that you suffered, but the experiences that you've been through I'm going to use for my glory. And he made me very aware of, of a scripture, which is Acts 1 verse 8, which says, You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and Samaria and throughout the ends of the earth. And God says, I want you to look after your Jerusalem first. And that for me meant Rochdale. And he showed me a vision of me handing out a sandwich and a warm hand of friendship and bringing the good news of Jesus to people that had suffered how I had suffered. And it was a difficult time because it was a very challenging thing for me. But I knew I had to be obedient to God. And I started putting things into, I spoke to my pastor and he was very excited about it and really gave me a lot of backing, as did the rest of the church, the rest of the leaders. And my wife, who says she would be there right by my side. And it's a ministry that has taken off and, you know, God is blessing us, both financially, spiritually and in all ways he's, he's just blessing this ministry we started off we went on that part for the first time in uh, april to march 2008 and we were serving five five six seven people at that time and we were met by suspicion and we were met by sometimes quite a lot of bad language and bad behavior and we developed some trust with those people. We showed them that we just wanted to be there to love them. And that Jesus loved them. And we wanted to bring some good news to them. That they could be saved. That they could get out of this life. And I was an example of how you can get out of that life. And the proof that Jesus can do it. You know, if you just believe in him, he can do it. And... Today, our ministry is its just full of warmth. We go on that park on every Sunday now and we're now serving up to 30 people, 35 people on a Sunday every week. And we're now met by warm smiles, warm handshakes, warm handshakes and love. We don't hear a bad word, no swearing on the park. They, they just, they just love us being there and we and we stand there and we talk to them and we minister to the hearts and we love it and I can't believe what Je I can believe what Jesus has done in my life sometimes I can't I say I can't believe it but I can because I know he's he's all powerful and almighty and I'm now one of those weirdos that I used to resent and I don't mind being one of those weirdos either because we're not really weirdos we're not weird we just love life we love Jesus and that's what my life's about now
and I wouldn't have anything any different. I can look back in my life and think about all the bad times, but unless you've been through a storm, you don't appreciate the sunshine. And my life today is awesome. And that's because God's made it and God is awesome.